The obstacle course will teach you how to move through the world. Use the basic movement commands to move forward and back and side to side. Use the look commands to turn left and right and look up and down. The further you move the thumbstick from center, the faster the movement When you are standing still and close to the edge of an obstacle, you can peek around the obstacle by leaning to the left or right. Press the left and right peek buttons and practice using the barrier. Remember, the smaller the target you present to the enemy, the harder you are to hit. When you are standing still and close to the edge of an obstacle, you can peek around the obstacle by leaning to the left or right. Press the left and right peek buttons. Open doors by walking up to them, placing the reticle on the door and pressing the action button. Try to avoid standing directly in front of a door when you open it. It makes you a prime target for whoever's on the other side. The assault rifle is your primary infantry weapon. Aim at a target and press the fire button to shoot. Notice how the reticle changes size as you move and fire. The smaller the reticle, the more accurate your shots will be. Practice hitting the targets down range. If you run out of bullets, change magazines with the reload button. The sniper Use rifle the is equipped with a scope for long range shots. Press the zoom button to cycle through the scope's zoom levels. Practice hitting the long range targets. The sniper rifle is equipped with a scope for long range shots. Press the zoom button to cycle through the scope's zoom levels. Practice hitting the long range targets. This concludes your Ghost Recon basic training. Press the start button to exit training. The other soldiers in your platoon are in the courtyard below. Press the command map button to call up the command interface. The interface will stay up until you press the command map button again. With the, the other command... soldiers in your platoon are in the courtyard below. Press the command map button to call up the command interface. The interface will stay up until you press
This is the small arms range. Here you'll learn how to fire a rifle and a pistol, how to switch weapons, reload, and use a scope. Press the start button at any time to exit training. The sniper rifle is equipped with a scope for long range shots. Press the zoom button to cycle through the scope's zoom levels. Practice hitting the long range targets. The assault rifle is your primary infantry weapon. Aim at a target and press the fire button to shoot. Notice how the reticle changes size as you move and fire. The smaller the reticle, the more accurate your shots will be. Practice hitting the targets down range. If you run out of bullets, change magazines with the reload button. Use the rate of fire button to switch between single shot, burst, or automatic fire. In addition to his primary weapon, every soldier can carry one secondary. You can switch between the primary and secondary by pressing the switch weapons button. Switch to the pistol and practice hitting the short range targets. This is the grenade range. Here you'll learn how to throw hand grenades Tap and fire, the fire a grenade button to launcher. toss the grenade a short distance, or hold the key for a little bit and then release it for a long throw. Notice that the reticle doesn't change size. Grenades will go exactly where you throw them, but you'll need to learn to take the arc of your throw into account. Practice lobbing grenades over the low wall in front of you, or hitting the targets in the far building. Press the fire button to launch a grenade. The standard grenade launcher needs to be reloaded after every shot. Grenades fired from grenade launchers explode on impact, so don't try to bounce them around corners. This is the rocket range. Notice how the rocket reticle differs from the rifle and grenade reticles. With rockets, you can't fire the weapon until the reticle reaches its minimum size. Wait for the reticle to converge, then press the fire key. Note that the rocket is affected by gravity, so you may have to aim slightly above targets that are far away. The standard rocket launcher needs to be reloaded after every shot.
The only way to destroy a tank or other armoured vehicle is with an anti-tank rocket, so be sure to equip your team with them if the mission briefing indicates you're going up against armour. And remember that rockets have a backblast. If you fire a rocket when there are friendlies behind you, you may injure or kill them. This is the machine gun range. Here you'll learn to how to use a fixed machine gun, stand in front of it and press the action button. Press the fire button to fire the machine gun while using it. Notice that you do not have a targeting reticle. Use the tracers to walk your shots onto the target. Practice shooting at the target's down range. When you are done, press the action button to disengage from the machine gun and continue to the next training area. This is the demolitions range. Press the fire Here you'll button learn to place, how to the, place claymore the claymore in the center of the blast pit. Aim it towards the target dummies. It will face in the same direction you're facing when you place it. Hold down the fire button until the action indicator on your reticle cycles completely and disappears. When the claymore is ready, move to the safety of the blast bunker for detonation. Press the fire button to place the claymore in the center of the blast pit. Aim it towards the target dummies. It will face in the same direction you're facing when you place it. Hold down the fire button until the action indicator on your reticle cycles completely and disappears. When the claymore is ready, move to the safety of the blast bunker for detonation. The route to the next training range is through this darkened hallway. Switch on your night vision goggles by pressing the night vision button. Night vision is essential in low light situations, but you'll see better in full illumination. As you know, gentlemen, we are here to help safeguard the first democratic elections Cuba's seen since before Batista took control. Since Castro's death in 2006, the Cuban people have had a succession of increasingly incompetent thugs in charge, and thankfully, that's going to change. The elections are going to occur in early May, and our job is to make sure that they go off without a hitch. What that means is that we've been volunteered to make sure the elements who want to bring back the bad old days don't get a chance to win the elections at gunpoint. Your first assignment is a basic contraband seizure. One of our patrol helicopters spotted a light cargo plane dropping a few suspicious looking crates over an abandoned tobacco plantation. The chopper crew was able to drive off the men who were moving the crates once they landed, but they need ground support to do the job properly. Seeing as the troops trying to haul those crates off look a lot like the guerrillas who've been reported bullying voters in a few of the western cities, we're not taking any chances. Your orders are simple. You'll be inserted by helicopter on the plantation grounds. Once you're en route, the patrol chopper will peel off and leave the ground troops to you. Take control of the old plantation buildings first, as that's what the guerrillas are using for cover. Then, secure those packages by clearing out the troops around them. They'll probably make an effort to retrieve them once the helicopter leaves, so things will be happening in a hurry.
Catch another one. Enemy down. Three. 